Welcome and uh, in this uh, set of slides, I want to, you to do some writing exercises. In, uh, specifically, I am going to give two topics and the six writing exercises. The first topic is Pythagoras theorem okay. and the writing exercises are as follows. Suppose your parents or grandparents do not have any technical background, how would you explain Pythagoras theorem to them? This is the first exercise and the description should not be more than say 15 to 20 sentences. Okay. And then you have a daughter who is in third standard who understands probably something about uh, shapes, uh, maybe right angle triangle and how would you explain Pythagoras theorem to her? This is the second exercise, again the description should not be more than 15 sentences. And now suppose you have a cousin who is in 8th standard in a high school who has probably done some amount of uh, geometry already, how would you explain Pythagoras theorem uh, to that person? Okay. So again the description should not be more than 15 to 20 sentences. And in doing this, I want you to keep several of the things uh, that we have discussed earlier in mind. There should be content that is Pythagoras theorem, there should be clarity there should be style and voice, style and voice uh, takes into account uh, who is the audience, what is it that you expect them to know and how to start from what they know and uh, move on to what they do not know, how to explain it, uh, use of figures if possible or can you give a completely figure based explanation, you know a bunch of cartoons which will explain Pythagoras theorem. So I want you to think about uh, this uh, in, in many different ways. And one of the things in writing exercises is that the first draft that you write is meant for yourself. It is not meant for public consumption. So I would like you to write a first draft and again think about it for a while, maybe give a break half a day or a day, come back to it and then write the final version. And the final version should have uh, neatly separated paragraphs if needed even section headings and the paragraphs should be having either a topical sentence or a summary sentence uh, which describes what is happening in that paragraph or what happened in that paragraph. And keeping all this in mind, uh, you have to write these uh, descriptions. Uh, these descriptions will be peer evaluated and we will give uh, the uh, rubrics using which you can evaluate these uh, writings. The second exercise is uh, to pick any experiment or process or concept that you have come across in your field of interest. For example, it could be a simple tensile test if you are a mechanical engineer or a metallurgist or it could be a simple circuit uh, if you are from electrical engineering or it could be a simple concept um, like Newton's law for example if you are from physics or it could be a simple chemical reaction at the molecular level that you are trying to explain if you are a chemist. Now you want to describe it again to some family member who does not have any technical background or some student who is in high school or one of your colleagues who has the same technical background as you. And again the description in each of these cases should not be more than one page and these writing exercises again the concept is very clear. The, the content is very clear, what is it that you have to communicate and uh, of course you have to do it with clarity. But uh, the style and voice aspects, how do I split it, split this information, what kind of background I give to each one of these audience, what kind of examples I use, what kind of analogies I use, how I am going to split the paragraphs, what are going to be the sections and what kind of. Uh, um, plots or graphs or cartoons will help me communicate this better and so on and so forth. So you should think about all this and write and we will have the exercise of evaluating these writings and that will be done both by yourself and by your peers. So we will give the rubrics so you can at the end of the writing look at these rubrics and compare what you have and see if you have gotten uh, it right or how much of it you have gotten it right. And then your own peers also will evaluate and give you the feedback. Thank you.